Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video topic. Hope everybody is having a blessed Thursday. I want to talk about, um, I talk a lot about single motherhood on here. Um, if you get a chance, catch my other video where I'm talking about single mothers with one or two children. Um, kind of passionate about this because, you know, um, I know the difficulties of being a single motherhood, a uh, single mother and the challenges of being a single mother. And I, I know um, that, you know, because I know all these things, um, I'm very, very, very passionate about letting the young ladies know that being a single mother is not what it's cracked up to be. And I just want to let the young ladies know that the issues and the things that you have to endure when you are a single mother. Today, I want to talk about the harsh realities of being a single mother. The harsh realities of being a single mother. Um, one of the harsh realities that I want to talk about in particular is um, dating, dating and marrying. I know I've said in a lot of my other videos how I'm, I know I'm always talking about, um, particularly in the last one, in a lot of other videos, I'm always talking about um, securing, if you're a single mother, securing a marriage mate before you have any more children or even before you have sex. Um, I'm always talking about securing a marriage mate and all that stuff. Um, but that is not easy. When you're a single mother, securing a marriage mate is not easy. You know, I say that and, and, and that's what you should do by all means. But at the same time, as a single mother, it's very difficult for you to secure a mate. And I'm going to give you some, um, I'm going to let you know, uh, as I've stated in many other videos, I don't sugarcoat. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. I'm going to give it to you straight. And I'm not going to sugarcoat. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm going I'm to I'm let you guys know what's up. I know there's a lot of single mothers, particularly the ones here on YouTube, I'm not mentioning any names, that they're finding themselves in a situation to where they are single again and um, um, they're raising their children. Um, they're in a position to where they are single mothers um, and they're finding themselves where they had a mate um, or the fathers to the children or whatever had they had a mate and they finding themselves in a situation to where uh, due to unfortunate circumstances they don't have a mate anymore and, and they're uh, finding themselves in that single motherhood position raising their children on their own. Now a lot of women um, most women ain't nobody signing up to be no single mother you know and ain't nobody trying to be no single mother um, most women, you know, um, when they're a single mother, um, it, it's natural to want to secure a marriage mate, you know, um, it, that, that's only natural. I mean, um, a lot of women want to get married. Um, so single mothers are not the exception. I mean, single mothers want to get married. You know, you'd like to have somebody, you know, a good marriage mate. And someone to help be a father figure to your children. I mean, I wanted that, you know, when I was raising my kids. And I, I had hoped and prayed to get that, you know. But the, it didn't go down like that for me. and It didn't happen. Um, and so that's just the reality. The reality of being a single mother and securing a marriage mate. And I say that all the time. But the reality is, this, this is the reality. The reality is... It's going to be very difficult for you as a single mother, particularly as a black single mother, um, to secure a suitable marriage mate. It's going to be very difficult for you. And I'm going to state some of the reasons why 
just bear with me. I'm going to state some of the reasons why it is very difficult to secure marriage maintenance. This video is going to be a little bit long. I don't want to do a part two, so bear with me. Um, first of all, um, when now there's guys on YouTube that's saying, oh, don't date single mothers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, you know, those guys are, are bitter and, you know, they, um, they're being honest and I, I can respect that. If they're, they're being honest and they're keeping it real. I can respect that. But I, what I don't respect is the bashing, how they have to bash single mothers and bad mouth single mothers. Like all single mothers are bad people. Um, you know, there's a lot of, um, single mothers out here. There's a lot of good single mothers out here. Um, and so, I mean, I, I can appreciate the fact that they're being honest. I get that. Uh, but you don't, in the process for them to be bashing single mothers in the process, I'm not cool with that. And, and bad mouthing single mothers in the process, I'm not okay with that. They don't have to do that. You can get your point across without bad mouthing single mothers, acting like single mothers are the most terrible people on the earth and calling single mothers names. You don't have to do all that because there's different reasons why women are single mothers. You know, not all women are single mothers because, you know, it's it's just different reasons. You know, it what, what renders a woman in that situation, it's different reasons. Everybody got a story. Every single mother situation is unique. They're not all the same. So to just put all single mothers in one box and say all single mothers you know, got this way because they, you know, were careless with their bodies or whatever, to suggest that is, 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 um, is ignorant, you know, because everybody, all single mothers have a story and there's unique reasons why all single mothers are in the position they're in. You know, most single mothers there are tempted to have some type of, re of relationship. Uh, they're attempting to have a relationship and, and hoping that that man that they get impregnated by that, you know, will be a suitable marriage mate, you know, in most cases, but it, it doesn't pan out like that. You know, sometimes uh, relationships don't work. I mean, that's life. Life happens. So um, with that being said, um, you know, um, but the reality, like I said, the reality of it is, you know, beside them running off at the mouth, um, the reality is, is that most men, a lot of men, um, don't want to particularly date single mothers. A lot of men don't want to particularly date single mothers. Um, even though, even if they got kids themselves, even if they got children by multiple women themselves, they still have the audacity to say that they don't want a single mother. So I just, I think that's hypocritical. Um, but even the ones that that have children themselves, that even they be hollering that they don't want a single mother. I'm going to explain to you why uh, single men, uh, a, a lot of men don't want to date single mothers. If you are a single mother and you have anywhere, um, even, any amount of children, even, even, having, even having one child, you know, but your chances, if you have one child, your chances are better than it is for somebody that has more than one child. And the issue is that the reason why a lot of guys don't want to date or marry, even marry single mothers, is because um, a lot of it has to do with, um, it's, it's the male ego, you know. The male ego is something to be reckoned with. If you have one child, if you, let's say you're a single mother, hypothetically speaking, you're a single mother, you have one child, even, even if you have one child, can, can sometimes be an issue with with some men. First of all, the man the man is going to assess the situation. If you have one child, he's going to, in his mind, he's assessing the situation. He said, okay, she got one child. First of all, the first thing he's going to think is, is the father of this child in this child's life? What type of relationship does she have with the father of this child? And if she, he talks to you and gets to know you and you get filling them in on the information. And let's say, you know, he finds out you had a relationship uh, with the father of your child, whether it be marriage or, you know. OK, so you he figure, OK, she's had a relationship with the father of the child. OK, is this the second question going to be, OK, is he in this child's life? And um, so he's going to be assessing this all in his mind. 
And if he, if you say, okay, yeah, he's he's uh, active. Let's say hypothetically, he's the the the, the father of the child as a act is playing an active role in the child's life. You know, he's spending time with the child. You know, he's coming to get the child or whatever situation like that. Okay, in his mind, he's thinking, okay. Um, you know, you have to get inside of a mind of a man and you kind of have to think men and women, we don't think the same. Women and men do not think the same. Their thinking is different from ours. And a lot of women don't understand that. I didn't understand that when I was younger. I understand it more now that I'm older. But when I was younger, I didn't understand that. Their thinking is so much different than ours. Men and women do not think the same. Um, they're thinking, and let's get that established right off the bat. Their thinking is not the same. So they're thinking in their mind, okay, um, is this man, first of all, this man still got feelings for her? Is he going to try to cause problems in our relationship? Is he going to just be popping up? Or, you know, when a man is, is dating a woman and he's looking at her as a potential mate, he doesn't really want to know about if no ex-boyfriends or whatever, even if, okay, if he, if he's dating a woman and she doesn't have any children, he knows that nine times out of 10, if she's not a virgin, she's had a, a, some type of relationship and especially she get to telling them, you know, talking to him and they get to know as they, he get to know her, then okay, they he knows that there was a relationship there or two relationships or whatever, what have you. But if she doesn't have any children, there's no physical proof that she was with anybody. She, there's no physical proof that she's with anybody, that she's with anybody. And if he's an ex, well, he's no longer in the picture, plain and simple. And he doesn't have to worry about seeing the guy unless the guy is stalking her. He doesn't have to worry about seeing the guy um, if he doesn't know the guy or whatever. Okay, end of story. She dated this guy. Things didn't work out. Oh, well, okay, end of story. He's history. I don't have to, you know, she doesn't have any kids, so I don't have to deal with him, you know? Whereas what, what the problem is when... Um, he's dealing with a single mother that has a child. He knows that, okay, that there, first of all, right off the bat, there's, there's physical proof that you slept with a guy because you had a baby by him. So in his mind, he's thinking, okay, is this man going to be popping up? Is, is, is his, this man still has feelings for her? Or um, is he going to try to cause problems? In our, if I have a relationship with her, it's, oh, my hair is in my face. He's going to, he, is he going to um, be trying to cause problems in our relationship or how, you know, how is that, you know, and so that's, as he's getting to know you, he's thinking about all that in his mind. You know, I'm telling you, this is how men think. And uh, case in point, case in point, I'll give you a case in point. When I was a single mother of one child, when it was just me and my oldest son, it was just me and my oldest son. I was dating I was uh, dating a guy and I'm trying to make this quick I'm trying to make a long story short uh, my son's father um, I broke up with him it was still some I'm gonna be honest there was still some feelings on his part and he um, now I just had my oldest son mind you now he wasn't he didn't have an active role in my son's life. He, he you know he wasn't coming to get him on the weekends or anything like that. So he didn't have a real active role in my son's life. I was predominantly raising him by myself for the most part. He didn't really have an active role in his life. But the problem with my son's father was there was still some feelings there. And so um because there were still feelings there, he in a sense kind of tried to cop block as they call it, cop block, the relationship between me and my, my ex. And I'll try to make a long story short. He, there, there was, he caused some problems there. They, they, he caused some problems there because um, um, there was still some feelings on his part. He was probably jealous because I had someone else. And, you know, he was trying to throw a monkey wrench in our relationship, cock blocking, like, or as you want to call it, and cause problems in our relationship. So in, 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 in my ex's mind, he was thinking, okay, you know, this man still got feelings for her. And and it, it, it did cause, it ultimately it winded up causing problems in our relationship. Because my son's father still had feelings for me. That's making a long story short. So this is the kinds of things that men think about. 
these are the kind of, I didn't understand a whole lot of that at the time. I was only in my 20s. So it, was a, it's not, it wasn't a whole lot that I understood. My ex would act certain ways and a certain way, type of way. And a lot of times I didn't understand why. And looking back in retrospect, I understand why. Because my son's father, you know, he made it very clear that he still has some feelings for me. Even though I kept telling my ex, if I wanted to be with him, I would be with him. I'm here with you. So that's letting you know right there, I'm, I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm where I'm where the, I'm where I want to be. You know, if I'm with you, then I want to be with you. If I want to be with him, I would be with him. You know, I don't do no in between or cheating and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I was trying to tell him to reassure him and everything. But that's not the way a man think. In a man's mind, they're thinking, okay, this man still got feelings there. You know, this and that and the other. He knew that my father, son's father didn't have an active role in my son's life. So he wasn't, it wasn't an issue of him popping up, but it was just, he was causing the problems, running off at the mouth, trying to say my ex was cheating on me and all these kind of things like that, to make a long story short. So that right there will make a man like put his guard up, you know, would make a man be more, in cause insecurities in the relationship on that man's part. And so when he meets you and you have one child, he's automatically he's, he's assessing all that in his head. Is this man going to try to cause problems in the relationship? Does this man still have feelings for her? Um, is he going to try to use the child to create, you know, a wedge between, you know, so these are all the things that going through his mind. You know, you got to get inside of a man's mind. So when you, when you are a single mother and you have more than one child, that's just having one child. Now, if, 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 if you're, if it's a, if it's a type of situation, you rhyme a little bit, if it's a type of situation that it depends on the situation. Let's say you're a single mother, you got one child and the child's father is not there. He's not nowhere in the picture. He didn't, he wasn't there at the child's birth. He, he didn't even sign the birth certificate. He, he didn't want nothing to do. He totally walked away, wanted nothing to do with the child. He hasn't seen the child, hasn't tried to visit the child or anything like that. And in his mind, now considering the fact that you've, you've checked off all the other the qualities that he's looking for in a woman, you checked off all those other boxes in his head of all the qualities that he's looking for in a woman, but you got this child, but the father's not nowhere in the picture, he might be able to roll with that. He's okay, well, I might be able to rock with that. I can come in here and be a father figure to the child. Um, yeah, she's a good woman. You know, I, I, I like she's got a lot of good qualities. I think I could roll with that. You know, I, I might not have to worry about him, you know, popping up or whatever like that. He knows there's a possibility, but you know, so he might be able to roll with that. So if you got one child, um, it depends on the situation. If the father is in the picture or if the father demonstrates in any kind of way that he might still have some feelings for, there for you, he, that man's going to have some reservations. That's with one child. Now, if you got two, three, four kids and so on and so forth, and if you got multiple fathers, if a man is, it has all these concerns with just having a woman, just having one, just imagine what kinds of things that will go through his head if you got one, two, three, or more baby daddies in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to put your mind, you have to put yourself in a mindset of a man and how they think. And if a woman has multiple, if she has two or three or more children by more than one father, then, then he's thinking in his mind, okay, how many of these fathers are I, that's going to be popping up? You know, how many of these fathers is in these kids' life? How many is going the, them is going to be popping up? And, 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 and um, 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 is he going to try to cause problems in our relationship? Are they going to try to cause problems in our relationship? And in his mind, he's thinking, okay, well, I really, because okay, he, if you got more than one father, you got more two or three kids or more with more than one father. Okay, that's evidence. There's physical evidence there that you were sexually involved with these men. And most men, they can't stand the thought of the, the, the thought. They don't even want to see the guy that you were intimate with. They don't, they don't want no dealings with him. They don't want to see him. They don't, they don't, they don't want them. They don't even want you. They don't even necessarily want to see you dealing with them. Because that's what they're thinking in their mind. So they're thinking if you got more than one father, more, you know, 
two or more kids with more than one father, they, they have all these thoughts going in their head. How many of these fathers are going to pop up in the picture? You know, do they still got feelings for her? Are they going to try to cause problems? Or am I going to have to deal with baby daddy drama? And, 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 and a lot of men get to thinking about all that and it gets overwhelming to them. They go to thinking about all that and and, and, and they get it, it gets overwhelming and they're just like, well, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, she's a nice lady, but mm, I don't think I'm going to want to. She's got too much baggage. So they assess the situation in their mind. And, 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 and then the male ego is something to be reckoned with. The, most men can't stand the thought of the fact that their woman, a child is physical evidence that you were sexually involved with this man. And in their mind, they're thinking, um, a man don't want to think about anybody, any man having sexual relations with a woman. Rather, it, 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 even though they know it was in the past, but most men don't want to think about that. So that's why they say they want to date a woman that don't have any kids because if she doesn't have any kids, it, it, I mean, she doesn't necessarily have to be a virgin. But and he knows that, you know, that it was if, if she had an ex-boyfriend or whatever like that. Well, yeah, he's probably no he probably knows that. But there's no there's no evidence of him even being in her life. There's no because she has no children. There's no evidence there. If he was an ex, OK, he's history. I don't have to see him. You know, I'm going by what she say or whatever, but, you know, I don't have to see the man. I don't I don't have to out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind type situation. Whereas if you got one, two, three or four more fathers, he's thinking, OK, well, she was she was involved sexually with all these guys. I don't know how many of them going to be trying to pop back up into the picture. I don't know if they're going to be trying to cause problems between us. Is she having baby daddy drama with them? And she's going back and forth with him. If, 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 are they going to be doing things together concerning the child? Then I got to worry about this man trying to push up on my woman, you know, her ex trying to push up on my woman and via the child and see, and that's all the things that they're thinking about in their mind. See, in our mind, we're thinking, okay, well, he's an ex. He's, you know, even if you got two or three or more or whatever fathers, you're thinking, oh, well, they're an ex, they're history, you know, um, the only time I deal with him is through the kids, and that's it, you know, whatever. And that's what you're thinking in your mind. So everything is going to be all right. In their mind, that's, they're not thinking like that. They're thinking, okay, this man going to be picking up this child, or she's going to be dropping this child off, and uh, she's going to be seeing him, and, and uh, how I know he ain't trying to holler at her, or whatever like that. Because sometimes... You know, sometimes single mothers, when they do break up with the fathers, sometimes they're still sexually involved with the fathers. And they're thinking about that in their mind. See, even if you're not, they're thinking about that. They're thinking about that being a possibility. They're thinking about that father possibly having, uh, still having leftover feelings for you. And trying to push up on you. Um, and, like, what if he's trying to push up on my woman, you know? And everything. What if the, the, your father's or father or fathers to these children is trying to still trying to push up on my woman? That's what they're thinking in their mind, and it, and they get overwhelmed. And after a while, they just rather say say I, I don't want to deal with that. You know, I just I pass. And so it's that's what makes it very difficult for single mothers to secure a marriage mate. It, it, that man has to be so secure. He has to be secure with himself. And pissed, if, if he's had a past experience with a single mother, that wasn't good. And, and, and that right there is going to turn him off right there. That, he, that man has to be in a... And like I said, he's going to assess your situation. Like, let's say, like, back to if you have one child. And let's say the father's in prison or he's deceased. Or he's not in the child's life. That man is thinking, okay, well, I can roll with that. I, I can roll with that. I'll come in. I'll be a father figure to the kid. I'll love her. She's got a lot of good qualities. She's beautiful. She's got all the qualities I, 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 I want in a woman. The, ki the, the kid's a great kid. I'll come on in. and Or they say the child is still quite young, you know, moldable. Yeah, I can come on in and be a father figure to the kid. No problem, you know. He ain't in the picture. 
I know this might be a possibility he may be able to come back, but you know, but if the father is deceased or he's in prison and he in there for quite a few years, he ain't getting out, then he can say, okay, yeah, I can rock with this situation. But if you got more than, if you got two, three, four or more baby daddies involved there, he's thinking, okay, how many of these men is going to be popping up at the house while I'm there? How many of these men, you know, is in these kids' life? You know, and I got to deal with them, her dealing with this man as far as the kids. It, how many of them still have feelings for my woman? And how do I know they ain't going to be trying to push up on her, you know, not really caring whether she in a relationship or not? See, these are the things that go through their minds. And that's why they be hollering they don't want to date single mothers. Because there is the child is physical evidence that you were sexually involved with this man versus a woman that doesn't have any kids. Well, if she said, well, yeah, I, I, you know, I dated a couple guys or whatever. Well, they can rock. They can roll with that because, well, they don't. First of all, they don't know who the guy is. The, the guy is history. So they don't have to it, unless he's stalking her. They don't have to worry about seeing the guy. You know what I mean? That's that's the difference. That's the difference. They know, okay, if you're not a virgin, they know nine times out of ten, okay, yeah, she was intimate with, intimate with somebody, but there's no physical evidence of it. There's no physical evidence of you being involved with anybody. Okay? They're going by what you say, but that's it. But when you're a single mother, it's a whole different ball game. That child is physical proof that you was intimately involved with one, two, or three, however many kids you have by different fathers. So even if it's if it's if if you got three kids by one father, then they're thinking, okay, well, is he in this, if he's in these kids' life, how many times okay, is he gonna be popping up or they got they got a what type of visitation she gonna be interacting with him in some kind of way via these children. And then he's gonna assess how long you was in a relationship with this guy. If this guy is an ex-husband or you was with this guy for many years, then he's gonna be saying, okay, does this man still got feelings for her? Or you know, see all this these this stuff is does she still got feelings for him? They all y'all they always gonna have this bond because they got this child together. That's what they thinking. Now I know that's not always the case. And sometimes women we have kids by men that there's no emotional bond there. You know, but in their mind, they might be thinking if, if there's some kind of, does she still kind of have some feelings for, because I know I had to reassure my ex a lot of times. I had to reassure two exes, two of my exes. I had to reassure both of them that there's nothing there. If I wanted to be with him, then I would still be with him. And this is when I just had one child, my oldest son, because it's 10 years between my oldest son and my youngest son. And so it was, you know, I was, I dated a couple, I was in a relationship with a couple guys and I had to reassure both of them that there was nothing. If I wanted to be with him, I would be with him. I'm here with you. So, okay. You know, I don't do that back and forth stuff, but in their mind, they're thinking, okay, it could be a possibility that she could still have feelings. Could it be a possibility that he could still have feelings? And then when I was with my ex, the second ex, then, um, well, the first one too, my, my, my oldest son's dad, you know, cock blocked as they call it and made his presence very known and made it very clear that there was still some emotional feelings for me. They wouldn't cool for, they wouldn't cool with that. They wouldn't cool, cool with that. And at the time, you know, my ex was, you know, acting certain ways at certain different times. And I would get frustrated and pissed at him because he would go to acting funny and, you know, and then getting pissed off and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of times I didn't understand why. You know, and because my son's father was not helping the situation as far as that. You know, I will be honest about that. And so this, these are the kinds of things that men are concerned with with dating single mothers. So it's not going to be easy for you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not going to be easy. 
It's going to be very difficult, particularly when you're dealing with multiple fathers, particularly if you're dealing with more than one father. You know, um, it's not so much as the kids. Sometimes it is concerned with the amount of children, but then they're thinking about them fathers. That's that. They're, that's what they're worried about. Them fathers. What type of situation you got with them fathers? And if you having baby daddy drama or some type of situation like that, they're like, uh, I'm good. You know, I, I don't. There's too much going on there. They become overwhelmed. When men get overwhelmed, they bounce. Plain and simple. And then some men have an issue with a woman putting a man on child support. You know, all men stick together when it comes to that type of stuff. And if a woman has got a man on child support, they might have an issue with that. They might have an issue with, with which they shouldn't have an issue with it, but they do, you know, because of the system and everything. And they stick together when it comes to stuff like that. And in, I know in Michigan, um, in most cases, the state is putting these men on child support. It's not the woman that's putting the man on child support. It's the state. Because if she has to go down there for any type of assistance, if you got in Michigan, if you got to go down for any type of assistance, whether it's food stamps, child care, medical, whatever, then the state is going to automatically go after that man for child support. That's That's protocol. Here in Michigan, I don't know how it is in other states, but that's how it is in Michigan. But a lot of men have issue with that as well. So single mothers, I don't want to discourage you. You know, um, is, is it possible that you can find a marriage mate? Sure, it's possible. I believe that anything is possible, but it's going to be hard. I'm not going to say it's not possible because there's single mothers that have gotten married. Anything is possible, but it's going to be very difficult because I know like when I, after I had my younger son, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm going to find a father figure for my kids. I'm going to find a husband for me. And I was very optimistic and everything like that. And I thought that it was going to be, you know, you know, that it, that it, I, I, I didn't understand the realities of the situation of that and how the difficult it was going to be at that particular time until some time passed and years went by and then I realized that it wasn't going to be so easy for me to get a marriage made because that's how a lot of men are thinking. And even if they got multiple baby mamas themselves, they got their nerve, they still be hollering that they don't want a woman with kids. It's okay for you to deal with the fact that they got baby mamas. It's okay for you to handle that and deal with that. But they don't, they don't, they can't accept the fact that you got baby daddies or whatever see mentally the male ego is something to be reckoned with they can't handle it and see that's how you have to think like a man think and you kind of have to get into their head and that's how a lot of times they're thinking that's why these guys are coming on youtube and they're hollering i don't want to date single mothers but those guys are bitter those guys either had a toxic mom or they had a very bad experience with a single mother that that and sometimes the, if you have more than one child, sometimes that that's an issue as well. Um, the fathers is a concern, but also the, the the children is concerned too because sometimes they, yeah, they they like well I don't want to come in and you know be a father figure. They just don't want to come in and be a father figure to someone else's kids, and that's a big thing too for a lot of them. You know, but um. Yeah, that's an issue for a lot of them. So I'm not going to tell you ladies that it's going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult as a single mother. And that's just a harsh reality of being a single mother, particularly a single black mother, because our marital rates are already low. Our marital rates are already low. It's hard for, for black women that don't have children. I know black women that don't even have children. Off the top of my head, I know some sisters that don't even have kids. And they've never had kids. And they're still not married. And I'm looking at them like, okay, they ain't got no kids. These men running around saying they want women without no kids. But how come their sisters ain't got no husband? How come they're still, okay, I don't have one. I got two kids. But why come they don't have a husband? And they have no kids. So there's a lot of sisters out here that don't have any children at all. Um, and they don't have a husband. So... 
if it's hard for them, think of how hard it's going to be for us mothers that do have one, two, three, or more kids. It's going to be even that more difficult. And I'm not saying give up hope. I'm not saying give up hope. You know, always keep hope alive. I just Jackson, keep hope alive. Um, and, and always pray. By all means, prayer, prayer, and all this stuff. But I will say this. Prepare for the possibility that you will be in this thing, this single motherhood thing for the long haul. Prepare yourself for that possibility. I hate to say that. I really hate to say that. But you need to prepare yourself. You got to be realistic and you need to prepare yourself for that possibility that you may be a single mother for the duration of your children's childhood. You know, it, you're going to have a very difficult time securing a marriage mate. It's not going to be easy. And that's the reason a lot of times the men don't want to take on the responsibility of another man's kids. Then they're thinking about if you got one more, one, two, or well, even more fathers, they're thinking about the role, you know, that the fact that, okay, she was with these guys and they, they, these the possibility of these guys popping up and being, you know, you interacting with them in some way. You're going to be have some type of interaction with them if they're in the kid's lives, if they're in the child's life. But they're going to be assessing all that stuff in, in their mind. And so that's the kind of things that, that go through men's heads when they, when they think about single mothers. But the ones on, like I said, the ones here on YouTube, they're bitter. You know, they, they didn't have a bad negative experience with a single mother and they're lumping us all in the same box. Or their mother was a single mother and she was a toxic mom, maybe. She was a toxic mom or something like that. And they had some type of bad experience with a single mother. And that's why they're on here bashing single mothers. That's what it is. And there's a, we all know that there's a lot of great single mothers out here. I was a great single mother. We have a, a single mothers. A lot of us have a lot of good qualities. We have lots of good qualities. We have lots of good qualities. Lots of good qualities. A lot of us do. You know, but when they when they think about the kids, between the kids and the fathers of the kids, when they think about those two things, that doesn't set well with a lot of men. Even if they got kids and multiple mothers themselves. They got their nerve. But yeah, that's it's that male ego thing. They can't handle it. They mentally have a hard time handling those things. And they get overwhelmed. And the problem is, instead of them being forthcoming, some 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 of these men, instead of them being forthcoming and saying, well, I don't really want to date single mothers, um, and, and just cut you loose and, and don't have, like, you know, just remain platonic friends, some of these guys will still get sexually involved. That's what bothers me. Some of them will still get sexually involved, knowing doggone well they don't have no intentions of having no relationship with you, and they, they certainly don't have no intentions of marrying you. And they, they already know that. A guy knows within the first few minutes of, of, of believe it or not, a man knows within the first few minutes, uh, of, within, within first, not too long after he meets you, he knows mentally where he gonna, where you're going to be in his life. Some men, they they have a lot of men have met a woman and they said that's gonna be my wife. Yes, they have met a woman and they know automatically that's gonna be their wife. They they know that there's something about her. So a man knows in most cases they know when they first meet you they know what type of role you're gonna play in their life. Whether it's just someone to be intimate with or a friend or or whatever a wifey, they already know off rip. In most cases, in most cases, but the the worst thing I, I hate when these guys do they all they automatically know they don't want to date a single mother. Okay, if you know that, then don't get intimately involved. But they do; they get intimately involved, and sex is emotional for women, 
in 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 most cases. I ain't gonna say in all cases, but in most cases. And then that woman, that single mother, develops feelings for that man. He doesn't want to be with a single mother. Okay, now she she she's hurt. She's she's disappointed. She's hurt. You know that's not okay. This woman's got to raise her kids. She can't be walking around with old busted up heart and head all messed up and all that kind of stuff. She she ain't got time for that. She's got kids that she's got to take care of. So instead of those men being mindful of that and just saying this. That's that's the respectful thing to do and saying I just you know I don't date single mothers I'm sorry you know you're a great woman but I'd rather not you know we can still remain friends and just be and just be done with that that's the respectful thing to do but some of these scumbags will get sexually involved anyway knowing that's not what they want and getting a woman all uh, riled up and, and and thinking that there's something more there when it's there's never going to be nothing more there that's not okay you're stringing a woman along. And it's never okay for a man to string a woman along. So that's I just got I just got to keep it real with you, ladies. I just got to keep it real with you. I got to keep it 100. You know, I've said in many of my other videos, I don't share code. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. If you got one or more children by one or more more than one father, then you are gonna have a very difficult time. It's gonna it's not gonna be easy. And you've got to be careful and you've got to watch these guys that's homosexuals that want to come in and sack up on you or just want to use you for sex. Those guys that you have to watch for those types. They really don't want to be with a single mother, but they're, they, they have another agenda. They don't have you in the, their best, their best interest. They're not thinking of you and they're certainly not thinking of your kids. Worst case scenario, homosexual he just needs some place to sack up see he see you got a nice house a place a nice place to stay he wants somewhere where he can sack up he's not interested in marrying you and having a future with you or being a father figure to your kids he just wants some place to sack up so he leads you to believe that there's something more there and it really isn't all the while he's out there messing around with other women behind your back but he got a nice place, stay, place to stay over here. You got to be aware of those types too. And, it, and the ones that want to use you for sex. And they're not being forthcoming and they're, they're not being honest about how they really feel. If they really, really are not interested in, in wifing you up. They just want to sex you up. You feel me? I got to keep it 100, ladies. Okay, I'm going to wrap this thing up. I got to go grab me something to eat. Let me sound off in the comments section. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments section. Please make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that share button, and hit that notification bell so every time I do a video, you will be notified. Stay tuned. I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Peace and love. This is Sweet June.